Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Questions every day may go on for days and days and yeah. days. Um, is the death toll? I think it's important for us and for everybody not to see this contest in the Ukraine as anything other than the, an election for the people of Ukraine to choose their own leadership. It's not a contest between East and West. Uh, it's not a contest between Russia and the United States. And uh, whatever uh, statements were made in media reports uh, that have occurred, I think you find us all in this, at this point of saying that we look forward to the outcome of the Ukrainian process. That's what the Russians have said. That's what President Putin has made clear. Um, that they look forward to uh, accepting uh, the outcome of Ukrainian uh, political, electoral, and judicial process. And that's uh, where we all should be. Um, perhaps that's where some of us started out and where others have gotten to. But that's where we all should be. You know, towards this whole thing, or will Russia likely to, as feels more isolated and slip back into a cool I think as far as, as far as we're concerned, we, we do look to the Ukrainians to resolve these matters uh, swiftly. We note the uh, I think the Election Commission has made some uh, decisions today. There's still a judicial uh, possibility or a judicial process um, uh, that uh, uh, needs to be resolved, but we would hope that those things would be resolved in a, uh, in a spirit of fairness and, and uh, quickly uh, so that uh, Ukrainians can get on with their lives. We have, I think, noted that the election uh, was uh, uh, substantially free and fair and that the whatever irregularities might have occurred would not have affected the outcome. Um, so uh, I think we're confident that uh, Ukrainian authorities can conduct a prompt, fair, transparent, and legal review that results in an outcome that reflects the will of the people of Ukraine. And uh, that's what we look to happen. Him or someone high up 